All right, so this is video six, and in this video, we're going to um, see how to configure an Ethernet port using the config tab. So I brought out from the end devices, I brought out a PC, a laptop, a server, and a printer. And I'm gonna click on the PC, and along the top, I'm gonna select config, and under global settings, it comes up by default. So in here I'm going to put the gateway address. So I'll have been told a gateway address to use. So in this case I'm going to use 192.168.7.1. Okay, and that's all I need to fill in on this screen. There is another gateway section down here, but it's for IP version 6. And then down lower under interface I see fast Ethernet zero. So here when I click on it, I will see that there is room for IP configuration, static address. And the address that I want to use. So the IP address that I want to use, I'll have been told by my instructions. So 192.168.7.23. And it's important that you don't use an IP address that's been already given to another device or that's been set for the gateway. All right, and when I click in the lower box for subnet mask, it automatically fills in the default subnet mask for the IP address class that I'm using. So this is a class C address, so it's giving it a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So just be careful that the IP address class you've been given matches the subnet mask by default. Otherwise, you'll just need to change it manually. And to save that now, I just go up to the red X in the corner and click close. And if I hover over that device, I can see that the IP address has been set at 192.168.7.23 gateway address 192.168.7.1 and I can do exactly the same for the laptop the server and the printer so let's just do the printer just to see it so printer config tab under the global settings I'm just going to put in the gateway so the same gateway for all devices on the same network and then under fast Ethernet IP address 192.168.7.22 I have to make sure that it's not the same as the gateway or any other device in the network you can't have two machines with the same address and it's picked up the subnet mask and that's it in the next video I'll show you how to do it using the desktop tab for PCs and laptops